Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings. Today we have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news read, Or your mourns as Governor Shei Makinde announces his result. Alright, but before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. The governor of Oyo State, Shei Makinde, has announced the result of his coronavirus test on sh social media. According to him in his Twitter page, he said, I just received my COVID-19 confirmation test result. It is positive. I am asymptomatic and will continue to self-isolate myself. Or to self-isolate. And after then, he went further to say that he has a designated Professor Timi Tokwe Alonge, former chief medical director of the University College Ibadan, as head of COVID-19 task force while he recovers fully. And he went further to say that uh, they should please continue to comply with all directives from the COVID-19 task force. Stay home stay safe and uh, there had been a lot of response from different quarters uh, about uh, he's a very well loved governor a lot of people are so much in love with him because when he stepped into your state he tried uh, to do his best to see that uh, he brings back the beauty of Oyo and also show empathy towards um, all and sundry especially the workers don't forget that it's in your state that we had that uh, nysc's uh, members are going to be paid about the 3,000 Naira monthly. But um, if before I go further with details of, of the news, I'd like to first of all read some of the reactions of Nigerians in respect to these. Um, uh, not really sorrowful because it's not dying, uh, but these uh, heartbreaking reports from Shei Makin there. And this one says here, uh, please be kind enough to identify all the people you have had contact with so that they can also self-isolate. Meanwhile, I wish you quick recovery. Another one says, contact tracing from the rally should begin. I think he was exposed at the Federal Executive Council meeting in Abuja. Um, different response from different persons. And this one said, oh my God, Your Excellency, you, I'm wishing you the quickest recovery. You are covered by the precious blood of God. I don't know if God have blood. <laughs> I am positive that you will beat these. All right. Another one here says, I beg. Now, which, okay. <laughs> Same question I was asking. Sorry. Um, this one said, Sick sickness is not your portion. You will beat this. The people of your state are certainly behind you. This too shall pass. In Jesus' name, inshallah. Uh -huh. Other responses. So many responses. Are coming in but um, as much as we are so much in love with this governor but I would say that uh, to some extent uh, he's the cause of this because um, they have were outcries from the qu different quarters mostly from the opposition the APC when the you know Southwest uh, PDP rally was to take place in or your state Ibadan for example in other northern uh, states, uh, a lot of them call off. I can still remember, I think Jigawa also called off the rally, and the other states also called off the rally. But he, you know, allowed it to be hosted in his own state, and uh, that was on the 19th, I think it was the 19th of uh, March or so. He hosted the PDP rally, and a lot of people were so angry that he had he did what he did people were really really angry because that was when already china had gone very very far you know in the the this thing the case of the coronavirus there were a lot of death register there were you know indications that it has already crawled into nigeria and um staying away from the rally would have really halted the spread of that virus if not anyway but you know your state it would have stopped it but right now he has been infected and uh, i know that if he has been infected a lot of persons who were part of that rally must have also walked away with the infection most of them um may not really may, may be at a passive level right now 
and which makes it very um, serious. For me, it's really serious because those contacts, if you can identify those people who had contact, so many of them may have even traveled to different states in Nigeria because it was Southwest, uh, you know, PDP rally. So most of them may have gone to Lagos State, gone to Oshun State, gone to, you know, other states, you know. Kwara State, I think, is excluded today. Eh? Um, Ogun State and all of that, which therefore means that uh, the spread of the virus is just at its cradle level in Nigeria. The, the governor of uh, uh, your state have gotten it. And guess what? When after the PDP rally, most people had uh, recommended that they should self-isolate themselves because for that kind of crowd to gather, certainly they must have been one or two persons who were already, you know, um, infected with the virus. But it, it didn't happen that way. And I can assure you that with the president running around doing one or two things, he may have, you know, um, given it to so many persons and which by indication shows that uh, our your state currently is not safe. I don't know how he will be able to identify those he had contacts with because uh, during that the rally, as much as I know, there was nothing like social distancing. They were, you know, just walking, doing things together and all of that. I think that was when they were talking about how they are going to get Southwest back to PDP and all of that. So right now, the story is going to be quite a serious one. There are so many caregivers and uh, household heads in uh, South South that are already infected. And most of them may not know. Some of them may have uh, already, it may have passed to their family members. You know, with all of this happening, it clearly shows that right now, right now, what we are seeing in, in Nigeria, if you want to be um, very realistic, we want to be very realistic. What we are seeing in Nigeria, the rate of infection or the rate of positive persons we are seeing in Nigeria is still at its uh, very cradle, its tip of the iceberg. It's a small portion of it. Because I can assure you that if she Makinde has been infected, automatically has tested positive, automatically so many other persons, so many other persons are infected. And if so many other persons have been infected, I'm sorry to say that uh, the whole of your state is going to be something else. The whole of your state is going to be something else. In the next two weeks, in the next three weeks, we cannot precisely tell what will happen in Oyo State. Yesterday, we had a report from a quiet woman state, and uh, uh, theirs was the case of that South South State, and theirs was the case of um, them, uh, some U U.S. doctors who came in for medical um, medical outreach, and they said for the, about 15 person, one Editi uh, Editi Fion, who is. Uh, a film producer said about 15 persons who were part of it, part of that uh, medical um, outreach, who are also local medics, that all of them have started showing symptoms of the um, virus. So it therefore means that right now what we are seeing is a preliminary level. Before we know if there is no adequate lockdown, right now so that people who are infected can stay in their individual state i can assure you that in the next two weeks in the next three weeks the record of nigeria will get to an unthinkable level i was surprised when i saw uh, what uh, israel did german germany did us did all of them hijacking their you know their people out of nigeria uh, it bred a lot of fear because people were like we're trying to do a little bit a uh, little best in seeing how we can cope the virus why are they so scared trying to hijack people maybe possibly they have been monitoring the activities in nigeria and seeing how lackadaisical the people have been towards this issue of the virus United States of America, it was like this. Italy, it was like this. Go to some other places. You will be so amazed at the rate people are treating this whole issue of virus. Some will still say, oh, what, whatever you are hearing, all of them now propaganda, jare, nothing, jare, all these things are propaganda. My brother, my sisters, this is not propaganda. I think we should abhor to the instruction of WHO. Stay back at your home, at least 
the federal government and some state government have recommended uh, shut everybody should shut down people who should stay back at their home now this is not meant to um, stop you from enjoying yourself stop you from you know stealing out time to mix up with friends but it's to protect you is to kind of curtail the extent of this spread. You may not have it, but the next person who is visiting you, whether in your office, whether in your home, whether in the church, may have it. And that's how the thing will be spreading more and more. Don't forget that Nigeria is not like every other country of the like the developed countries of the world. We still have people who do menial jobs, who go out there. Imagine all of them being infected and and after like two weeks if we refuse to you know stay back at home and all of that and we keep on interacting with each other and this thing keeps spreading it therefore mean the list of people who are going to be infected will be endless we are hopeful that this will be fixed then another recommendation i want to if shehima kende or another person who is closer to him have opportunity of listening to this or have read in the paper uh, oni of ife had already said that um, there are some herbal drugs which he had personally administered to certain persons and which has cured coronavirus he said they are testimonials to that effect so i think this is the right time for the likes of shehima kende to meet up with this guy now uh, that's the oni of ife so that they can see how they can you know, put minds together and uh, possibly extend this cure to most of the uh, persons who were part of that rally. And uh, good, the, the, the another thing I, I would like to say here is that people should learn to declare their status. If you are positive or you feel some of the symptoms immediately, let your family member know about it. If there's a possibility of getting across to Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, please do same. The numbers are already on the internet. Do same. Call them. Let them give you um, the next step that you have to take and do everything to ensure you build your immunity so that you can fight it. We've seen reasonable number of persons who have been infected who have recovered. The likes of uh, uh, Charles, um, that's uh, uh, Prince Charles, he has recovered. There are other counties. The, the first Italian, the Italian guy who came into Nigeria with the sickness has recovered. The unreasonable number of persons. Abakiari, we've heard that he's also recovering. Though most Nigerians are praying that he should die. I'm not a part of it. Oh, God. I don't know what's in the talk. But hey, the, let the truth be said. And the, that truth is, let's see how we can protect ourselves. Let's see how we can minimize the spread of this virus. I wish uh, Governor Shei Makinde quick recovery as uh, he will self-isolate himself and try to identify the people that he have had direct contact with. It, with. That's where we're going to draw the curtain. Please go to our comment section. Let's interact. What's your position in respect to the fact that Shei Makinde, who was a part of PDP rally or who hosted PDP rally, has been uh, declared positive respect to coronavirus. What do you think will be the position?